Welcome, a warm welcome to Hashtag Showbiz with your host Usha. What happens here definitely does not stand, comes out to you, yes. What are we going to be talking about today? What is going to be the topic for today? Yes, I would say this is going to be an engaging, exciting and of course a fun show for you as always. So get your cup of tea. Get your cup of coffee and sit down and engage with comments, please. I'd love to hear comments on the YouTube channel. So what's the topic for today? A topic that is very close to most of us. And especially coming from India and Indian culture, I'm sure you will engage in this topic. Dark is beautiful. Ji ha, aaj ka topic hai. Dark is beautiful. Of course, dark is beautiful, and we are going to be celebrating on the show today diversity of beauty. Diversity of beauty in all skin tones. Yes, isn't that a beautiful topic? So, this is a topic that can actually be avoided in many places as well, but I wanted to have an honest discussion and make sure we cover some of the main topics around this. So, to talk about Dark is Beautiful, who do I have in the studio? Are you guys ready to meet our guest for today? Yes, our guest today is going to be Dolly. Dolly, welcome. It's been a pleasure to talk to you on social media. You became my friend on social media and I used to see the way you would comment and you had an opinion, an honest opinion, I should mm -hmm. say. It was a very honest opinion that you had on many of the topics of discussions that were happening. And I said, you know what? I'm going to reach out to Dolly and ask her to come over on my show. Thank so you. thank you so much for coming over. Thank you. And um, I think talking about dark is beautiful. I got to say, dark is beautiful. We didn't even it, think about it. And we no. both are wearing black today. So yes, dark is definitely beautiful. It definitely is. And, you know, I don't even think of it like dark is beautiful or light is beautiful. Yeah. Like, it's so skin deep, right? Like, mm -hmm. I don't walk around judging people with this, like, radar on right, me, right? right? Like, oh, that person's dark. Let me go say hi. And, oh, right. that person's light. You just, yes. you know, it's always the smile and the eyes. And it's so much deeper. Yeah, beauty right? is definitely absolutely. skin deep. Absolutely, absolutely. And, um, yes, actually, that's what you... I think it's a persona, there's a personality, the way the person socializes with you and the conversation, there's so much more to beauty, right? Exactly, like it's the way the person carries themselves, it's the way the person speaks, if mm -hmm. they engage with you, like you just don't sit there and think like, oh, you know, I'm not going to go approach that person because they're too dark for me. Or too like, fair. Or too either, fair, right? in that yeah. sense, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you yes. just don't sit there and think of skin color that way. Right. Um, it's, it's just, it just doesn't happen. Like, you know, growing up, I always, like, and I can tell that this was a stigma in India. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, growing up, like, my mom would be like, oh, you know, don't go run around in the sun so much today. Right. You're going to get dark, you know? Yeah. And then it's always like the aunties, like, oh, you're so fair. The aunties. And, and yes, <laughs> the aunties. <laughs> like, you're so fair and you're so beautiful and, you know, any guy will marry you. And I'm like, why do I have to be fair? Like, what, right. what is this, right? <laughs> yes. Or like, you know, during the summers, my mom would pull, pull out the, like, jana atta. Yes. And be like, here, go bathe with this. You know, let me put some milk Are in there. Are you going to get yeah. fair? Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? Talking about chana, atta, and fairness, I got to talk about fairness creams. I mean, in India, like the fairness cream and all the chemicals that they're coming up with, they actually have, and I'm not kidding, they have an underarm of, of fairness Oh, my goodness. Cream. Yes. Just really? for underarms. Just for underarms. Uh, are they doing that for elbows and knees too? I don't know about it. But I really don't know. Yes. So talking about Unilever, right? I mean, uh -huh. they have so many fairness creams and they have all these products, right? To create fairness, to make a person fair. But you talk about this, this is a stigma. There's a whole stigma around chemicals, using chemicals just to be fair. Absolutely. So when you actually say that there's an underarm cream, it makes me think that it's actually targeted just for women, right? And this is... Ah, do you, th you think men need well, to worry about their no, underarm being I dark? Mean, <laughs> you know, they don't wax their underarms, right? So, well, it's, right? maybe like, some do. 
May, well, two days. You know, yes. yes, actually, mm-hmm. you're right. You know, yeah. a lot of men do get their entire body waxed. Yes. Um, but, you know, I know that it does get dark down there. Yeah. But I have a feeling it has to do more with women because... I know when I've gone to beauticians, mm-hmm. they always talk about, oh, well, if you shave, then, you know, your underarm your is going to get yeah. dark yeah. versus waxing. And I'm yep. like, really? Because I don't notice. Like, I don't really look at my underarms all the time. Yep. But, you know, I think um, it's geared more towards women. Yes. And how maybe a partner will see their female counterpart, right? right. Like yep. um, wearing a sleeveless blouse or, yep. you know, wearing, I mean, women have gotten more bold these days right, right? and it's yes. more accepted um yep. and it's beautiful yep so yeah talking about unilever there's this product right dolly picked this up from the indian store fair and lovely actually they have changed the name by the way now this is an older uh product i mm-hmm. guess from the inventory yes yes <laughs> which <laughs> is what happens here right we get the new name yeah they call it glow and lovely so they're predicting that you will glow your skin will glow with Mm -hmm. the product and it won't be fair but we actually um were looking at some of the youtube uh, videos on this and it was hilarious because it just makes a cakey white skin and i don't know why you would want that it have to be naturally beautiful It, it it's almost like putting on a tinted cream yeah. that is like a few shades White. lighter uh-huh. right so you end up looking a little ghostly um <laughs> if like you're this dark skin person yes. well, you, you just look flush like you did you just get scared but you're wearing a smile you know like you can just tell yes. especially because you apply it to your face right, right? and then you have the it's neckline probably spf what is this i think it's just spf probably i'm not sure mm-hmm. exactly what the chemicals are in there right. yeah. but even though the name changed, I bet you all of the ingredients are still the yes. same. And so the purpose is still the same. They want to yeah. achieve this lighter skin over time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely the commercials. Um, if you look at any of the Fair and Lovely commercials, mm-hmm. and any of you that have seen Fair and Lovely commercials, mm-hmm. um, one in particular, and um, let me backtrack just a little bit. You always see like Bollywood stars representing their yes. product, yes. right? But then you have this one commercial that caught my attention. Mm -hmm. Um, It was about a girl who wanted to enter a competition Mm -hmm. and she just thought she would not make it. Well, she approaches her mentor, her teacher, and she's like, oh, I have just the thing for you, you know, just glorifying. Mm -hmm. And you see her applying this fair and lovely and it's very conceptual. Um, you know that it's happening in the background, right. but you just see her becoming this glamorous person and she, her confidence is boosted and the teacher is singing the entire thing to her. It's like just melodious, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and um, <clears throat> so she ends up on stage and she ends up winning the competition um, because she used she, this cream, right? Yes. So she could just, have never done yeah. it the way she was. Well, and with her talent? Exactly. She would have never gotten that far and because she was fairer, she won the competition. And this is, again, this is a message that we're giving people in our ads saying that you need to be fair to win in life. No, I don't think that's true. And this is exactly what we want to make sure that we do not pass on to our younger generation. They are beautiful the way they are. And like Dolly, you were saying, beauty is skin deep. Absolutely. Yeah. So Dolly talking about this whole stigma, right? About fairness and needing to be fair to be successful. I think apt to talk about Bollywood. Absolutely. Absolutely required it. And I think I want to start with a conversation and I want to see what your thoughts are on a Bollywood slash Hollywood actress. Talking about Priyanka, Priyanka Chopra, PC. Mm -hmm. So um, she was actually, when she started her journey in Bollywood, and I think we all know, if you compare the pictures today to uh, where she was in Bollywood, she had lightened her skin. Did she feel that she needed to be lighter to be successful? Um, You know, I think that is just an all around feeling for every single actress that goes in. they go in and they want to see their popularity. How right. are people idolizing me? Do they yeah. look up to me? 
and that stigma is always there mm -hmm. that you know if you're going to be in Bollywood yeah then people will love you if you have this beautiful light skin you know you don't have to be the best dancer you don't have to be <laughs> the most talented person if you just can look beautiful and say Gordy. your lyrics yes. mm -hmm. and words right then you've you've got it um, it's 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 a shame because you know you have all the younger generation that's growing up and they look up to these people exactly so with Priyanka you're right you know she did start off you look at her older movies she started mm -hmm. off dark and then she went through this phase where yeah. you know eventually you see lighter and lighter skin yep yep but you know um, I've heard that she decided that she's not going to do that anymore she's not doing it anymore right. she's here in US and our skin our brown color or olive skin color is accepted and if you go and check on her insta she's a beautiful bronze it's a beautiful Absolutely. color she's finally embraced her beauty is skin deep her talent is what's going to be speaking Another Bollywood I would love to chat on is Kajol. Yes. She started with the song. Uh, I know, of course, um, we're going to be talking about Dilwale Dulhaniya Le Jayenge, if you see the skin color there. But even in um, the song, the Ye Kali Kali Yankhe, yes. Ye Gori Gori Gal. And when she actually was portrayed in that movie or that song, she wasn't fair. But look at her now. Absolutely. Like She's skin has lightened quite a bit it has and you know it, you see this time and time again with so many actresses right but um so you know it's it's no surprise that Gajal went through it but her counterpart did not right she ended up marrying Ajay Devgan yeah and you know it's not that he's this absolutely did he go like through that, that no I don't <laughs> think so I no. don't think so no. I mean he's always looked the same you know yes. he's a handsome guy mm -hmm. but it it goes back to this stronger stigma for women, right? Yeah. I know that it affects men as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, we were talking about the cream earlier yes. and mm -hmm. they had all separate products for men. Yeah, they do. The they Fair actually have fairness cream for men too. They do. So yes. I know men feel the pressure these days too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like back in the days, you can tell that th there's just all these like expectations that the society puts on these actors right because if we're going to idolize you you need to be a certain way right and it comes from like all these like generations of stigmas yes that it has with the chana the basin yeah. <laughs> coming yes. from our grandparents you know i still remember putting chana and uh, you know milk on my skin thinking i would and then haldi yes. just so you the know glow. you would yes you the, would get uh, the glow and you would actually have fair skin and i think um, another actress that we can actually talk about who went through actually beautiful actress very talented rekha rekha oh. had to yes. go through that she had to lighten her skin just to be successful because mm -hmm. her talent beyond her talent but i think nowadays i've seen a few roles where we do see like onkana sain and uh, you know there's very um talented actresses who didn't need to do that thank god and i really hope all of us can stand up together and say we don't need to be fair to be successful absolutely you know i don't understand I think one of the problems is in Bollywood, you only have Indians that are there that are performing, right? Like growing up in this country, we see a mix of every type of like culture and right. race. Right. And in India, you just see Indians. And yeah. then, you know, it's like, well, let's start comparing these Indians to other Indians, right? Mm. They don't. <laughs> it's like, you know, and when you watch a show here, you don't sit there and think like, oh, look, you know, yeah, this, yeah. this, even if it's just an all African American show, right? You don't right. sit there and look at them and be like, "Oh, she's so much lighter than this person." Right. I think she's so much prettier. Like you, do, you enjoy <laughs> we don't the do show, that. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, yeah. um, it's it's just. I wish it would go away. It's going to be really uh, tough. Yeah. Um, you know, it has to start in the house. I think it where, has to. But another clarification: I want to make sure we're letting our friends know we're not talking about makeup. No. We are not talking about makeup. Get your makeups done. You know, accentuate your future features, right? right? It's accentuating your current features 
to look a little more attractive, which is fine. Girls love to do makeup. I'm not talking about makeup at all. I'm just talking about the skin lightening and the chemicals that you're adding to your body, which can be harmful to yeah. you just because you want to be successful. Right, right. And, <clears throat> you know, I, I think everybody is beautiful in their own way. And yes. so to use makeup just to highlight and touch. Yeah up on your features that you want to accentuate right that's the perfect way to do it however yeah. Yeah. do not go and you know growing up i also have to say like when i used to go to like navratri garbas and yeah. stuff like that growing up and it's getting better now mm -hmm. but i remember like um some of the older women they would go to the store and i don't know if it was because availability mm -hmm. of foundation colors mm -hmm. but they would be like four shades lighter so, so you see the rest of their body, right? And Ooh. it's like, I'm like, do they actually want to look lighter or is it because oh. they just didn't have a matching foundation at the store, right? right? Which right. I don't think that was the case. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's a shame that they come yes. here and they still feel like they have to be right. lighter, like yep. even living here. Yep. But it's gotten so much better. It has, yeah. it has. And I do have to say, how old were you when you came to US? Two years old. Yes, yeah, so two years she's old. been here forever, but she walks and talks Bollywood like none of us do. It's amazing. <laughs> so back in the days, if you've noticed, um, they had absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous actresses, you know, and they accentuated their features, their eyes and everything. But the movies were black and white. And so you can never tell if these women were dark or if they were really That's what light. it is, Dolly. It was black and white movies. <laughs> they literally got rid of this whole stigma. And... Madhubala, I don't know what skin tone these ladies had, no. you know, I, they could have been fair or they could have been savvy, but it didn't matter. It didn't matter because we just saw their acting. Their exactly. Talent. It was purely yeah. entertainment and they're beautiful, right? They're yep. still beautiful, yep. but you, can, you can't see anything else and you can't judge them. We need to probably go back to black and white. Yes, we do. <laughs> but... Talking about Bollywood, the songs, man. There are so many songs that talk about. It's always Gori, yeah, Gora, like Gori, Gori, yes. Mukhade, Pikala, Kala, Chashma. It's like, hello, what does that mean? And then the other one, Chitiya Kalaiya, Ve, Baby, Meri White Kalaiya. What? Yes. White Kalaiya, hello. I don't have White Kalaiya. It's, yeah, it's yeah. okay, or right? Yeah. Gori hai Kalaiya, Tula de Mujhe Hari Hari Chudiya. Oh. Oh, I think right? we should yeah. get you to be or singing Or Goriare, Goriare, Mera Dil Chura. It's always so glorified, yes, right? It's like crazy. Being this fair-skinned person is the one that's going to win you over. And, you know, you can only get Hari Hari Chudia if, <laughs> if your Kalaya is white. You know? Listen to this one, which is actually, I think, is very derogatory, is... Um, Ham kale hai to kya hua dil wale hai. Kya baat hai yaar? Kya keh rahe ho? Like, sab ka dil hai. You know, sab dil wale yes. hai. You, kale hai to kya hua. You know, it's like, it's very sad that this is how our industry treats skin. And that's exactly we want to hear from you. What your comments, what your thoughts are as well. And do you still feel that you are actually being mistreated or ill-treated because of your skin color? love to hear from you please comment as you watch the episode so actually talking about all of these the stigma one thing i really liked was nita davluri if you have heard of her miss usa Beautiful. miss usa and she won it she won it because she's absolutely beautiful she's talented and god bless her right so what i hear from india is oh for her skin color she would definitely not win, but let alone winning, she wouldn't even participate because she is dark. I believe it. You know, she, um, she is absolutely gorgeous. And you know, that's one of the great things growing up in this country. You yeah. don't walk around judging by skin tone. Everybody right. gets to participate. Um, it's because there's so many other scores that you get right. on, you know, you get judged on talent, um, on your responses to questions that they ask you and I know that's the case for India too mm -hmm. but you know it actually I I was very curious and I actually looked it up so I right. looked up the contestants mm -hmm. for 2019 yeah and there's all these women that are in like little tiles you know right right and like if you look at it from a distance it mm -hmm. looks like the same exact girl with different hair um, like one's hair is a little bit bigger but you know but you, you know what they're all fair 
They are. They're they all are fair. All and fair. we're going to show that picture right now. Mm -hmm. Everybody, every one of them is fair. They're fair and they almost all look alike. And so, you know, I can understand that India would come back and be like, oh yeah, well, ne you know, Neeta would have never made it into our competition. And yeah, look, that's why, right? Wow, <laughs> because amazing. they have expectations. Yeah. And this, this is what our younger generation growing up looks up to. And if they want to be this Miss India, then yeah. they have to be this fair skinned person with lush, dark, dark hair, right? So <laughs> yeah. you know, they're not allowed to be themselves. Yeah. And it's, it's, crazy. it's a sad, sad message that we're sending to our children. So like I was saying about Dolly, it's absolutely fun. She and I, whenever we have conversations, we just keep going for hours. We chat. Never ending. And you're single too. Yes, yeah. she's <laughs> single as well. Ha, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before I start giving her contact info, the only reason I said she's single <laughs> is because you and I were chatting on some of the apps that you're part of and uh, you were talking about some filters. Share some information. Yes, it was insane, right? So um, dating has been launched online. I haven't done this in years, <laughs> right? right? So I was like, you know what? Why not create a profile? Right. Why not, right? So I went and I went on one of the ones that are for Indians in particular. Okay. And you know, there was actually- It was a Desi dating they, site. It okay. was. Um, mm -hmm. I won't say the name just okay. because, yep, but fine. you know, there was a filter that said do you what kind of skin tone do you prefer and i was like really wow you know like i can actually filter what, guys are, what are the what are the drop downs there oh my gosh like dark <laughs> fair a little fair less fair oh my it gosh. was it was just so baffling because i was like okay you know i think i'd be more concerned about like you know like think personality types that match up with me Versus Thank you. You discard like so many people. You limit yourself when you do things like this. But let me tell you what what was even worse. Okay, there were some men whose profiles were created by their parents, and it would literally oh say, "Yeah, you know, the typical we want a uh, girl who can a cook fair and skin clean, girl. But yes, they <laughs> wanted somebody that was fair skin. Oh my god! And you know, I'm clicking through, and I'm like, I need to see a picture of this guy. <laughs> Is he right. fair too? No, no, they have these like hideous expectations. <laughs> like, you know, like you can have, you know, just some fun guy, but the mom is going to ruin it because she has all of these expectations that her daughter-in-law needs to be like this person they can tote around, like the trophy wife, right? Yes, like that's exactly what exactly. it is. Exactly, you yeah. know, we don't care after she gets home like what she wants to look like but when we tote her around she needs to be this beautiful skin, person yeah. like so we can say like oh look who my son married you know mm -hmm, this is the mm -hmm. person that we How got in our family bahu. is that what that is then Gori bahu you yeah. know Gori, yeah exactly. Gori bini, you know it's amazing it's crazy but i'm i'm glad you're not looking for those filters i'm hoping those filters are off Oh yeah, they did end up removing it. I'm Good. sure it caused a lot of lashback. I'm um, sure. You know, I looked again for it and it wasn't there. Okay. But you can't get rid of the moms that have that feeling. <laughs> so, or yes, the dads, you can't get you know? rid of the parents nor the classifieds. I think there's still classifieds I've seen in India abroad and all those um, Indian uh, Desi newspapers where must be yes. fair skinned is what they say. They do. Um, Amazing. You know, yeah. and I thought this was from like this mentality was from like years and years ago. I went in the um, mid 90s to yep. India and believe it or not, my cousin who grew up here, mm -hmm. we took him back to India and you know, we put an ad in the paper for him because it, there was very limited time mm -hmm. for him to get married. Right. And I was looking at mm -hmm. this and sure enough, the, you know, along with his profile, there were all these other profiles and they were requesting fair when skin. Was this? in mid 90s okay. right so this is more than 25 years ago yeah. and it really shocks me that 25 years later after yeah. all of the progressing it's that we've happening. done you still have this stigma yep it's yep. it's just so sad you know okay oh my <laughs> gosh it's crazy but definitely share your thoughts on what you think about does skin color matter does skin color really matter right not to me yeah <laughs> awesome to me. it's good 
So Dolly, thank you so much. It was so much fun Absolutely. talking to you. And I think we both are so passionate about this topic. It was lovely chatting with you. I hope you had a nice time in it our was, studios. Yes, it was so much fun. And you know, we can go on and on forever, <laughs> yes. but we only have so much time, right? Yep. Um, but there is like a message that I would like mm -hmm. to give to everybody. So growing up here, you know, I used to go out and nobody ever like goes out with the intent to judge anybody by skin color. Um, just be yourself and have a good time. We are in this country. This is the land of opportunity. And, you know, we come here and there's a lot of people that still come here from the country. And unfortunately, they've grown up with the stigma and they feel like they have to live it here. But it's not like that. We have so much freedom here. And even back in India, please just be yourself because beauty is only skin deep. You know what, that was a beautiful comment. It definitely beauty is skin deep. I'm going to say that we have to remember that we cannot cure anybody of a brown skin, a white skin, a really dark skin. It's not a disease. You don't need to cure it. You don't need to treat it with chemicals, unhealthy chemicals in your body. What I would say is work on being a better version of yourself. That is what's going to make you beautiful in within inside and that's exactly what the message is what i would like to share why don't we appreciate a beautiful skin color of nandita das why do we have to ask her to not be part of professional roles just because she's dark sometimes you know what i think is dark is the gandagi in our minds get rid of it and be proud of who you are your skin color is your gift wear it well thank you folks that's all for today this episode dark is beautiful keep watching hashtag show is only on in this tv channel like i always say in this tv channel go subscribe girl and definitely on the bell icon you know what to do thank you